Chapter Twenty Three of the Tale of Buster Bumblebee. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sarah Parshall. The Tale of Buster Bumblebee by Arthur Scott Bailey. Chapter Twenty Three making game of old dog spot where have you been keeping yourself buster bumblebee cried the moment he caught sight of jimmy rabbit's ears sticking up from behind a head of farmer green's lettuce it's quite plain that you forgot to meet me so i might tell you about the raising bee at that jimmy rabbit promptly replied that he had come there each morning anyhow he said you promised to meet me and since you haven't met me until now it must be your fault for you certainly haven't done as you agreed buster bumblebee looked puzzled he was sure that the fault had not been his but his wits were not so nimble as jimmy rabbit's and he could think of no answer at all well what do you know about the raising bee jimmy asked him with an encouraging smile you are mistaken about that buster told him eagerly there wasn't any raising bee farmer green's neighbors for miles around came to help him put up the frame of his new barn and afterwards they enjoyed a feast under the trees and a dance jimmy rabbit began to shake in a very strange manner ho ho he cried in a jolly voice you are the one that's mistaken and not i you saw a raising bee and didn't know it farmer green's friends raised the timbers for the barn and that's why it's called a raising bee any helpful neighborly gathering like that is known as a bee though you may not be aware of that fact buster bumblebee stared open-mouthed he had never suspected such a thing but jimmy rabbit said it was so and there was nothing to do but believe him so they had something to eat and a dance too eh said jimmy rabbit pleasantly yes said buster and there was a bumblebee and a pumpkin though i couldn't see him but old dog spot said he did and i suppose i was mistaken for i thought he was inside a fiddle and now jimmy rabbit was laughing again holding his sides and shaking so hard that it seemed as if his ears would fall off if he didn't stop soon no you are not mistaken at all that's an old old tune my grandfather has hummed it to me many a time he used to say that there was never another tune just like it what tune buster bumblebee asked him i must say i don't know what you're talking about why the bumblebee and the pumpkin jimmy rabbit informed him that's the name of a tune every good fiddler knows it and since the buzzing sound comes out of the fiddle the bumblebee must be inside it of course for a moment buster looked almost peevish he had intended to take jimmy rabbit down a peg by telling him he had been mistaken and there was jimmy rabbit explaining every strange thing just as he always did it was most annoying so buster thought but all at once a comforting idea popped into his head old dog spot was wrong wasn't he buster cried he certainly was jimmy rabbit replied ha ha laughed buster bumblebee isn't it odd how stupid some people are it certainly is said jimmy rabbit and for some unknown reason he laughed harder than ever before but buster bumblebee did not mind that in the least he thought that jimmy rabbit was making game of old dog spot the end end of chapter twenty three making game of old dog spot recording by sarah and gracia partial sarah partial dot blogspot dot com end of the tale of buster bumblebee by arthur scott bailey